treatment tends to overlap with prevention. One of the quickest ways to provide treatment is to do a blood transfusion. Now, this is fast, but it is also expensive and it can be dangerous because it could be toxic if you uh, administer too much. A supplement is called ferrous sulfate, also known as fiosyl. It is non enteric coated because you got to remember we need acid. Acid is good because when you have acid, you can increase absorption of iron, specifically in the 2 plus state. You give approximately 200 milligrams three times a day. The way I remember this, if you remember iron, it's, can, it exists as Fe2 plus or 3 plus. So you take the 2, there you get your 200, and you take the 3, and you think about three times per day. Hopefully that helps. You can also give the medication as a liquid form. However, something that they do ask is it will stain teeth. This is important. It will stain it. So if it's going to stain the teeth, what can you simply do? You can give a straw. So go right to the back of the mouth so you don't stain the teeth. So remember that that's commonly asked. This type of material is what we call high yield information. Another thing you have to do with this medication is it's good to take with vitamin C, something acidic. Because remember, it's all about acid. The more acid, the better we absorb the iron. So one of the commonly asked type is OJ, orange juice, also sometimes tomato juice. But technically anything that has vitamin C or that is acidic will increase the absorption of iron. A big no-no is coffee and tea. Sometimes you'll see this asked and they'll say, how does the patient not understand how to take their supplement and they'll say because they're taking it with coffee and tea that's not good it will chelate or it will bind to the iron which will decrease absorption of the iron so don't take it with coffee or tea another thing you want to do is you want to take it between meals if they ask you how long before a meal say more than one hour before meals. However, usually they're looking for between meals because that's when the acid content is the greatest. So remember, it's all about acid. More acid, then we will increase the absorption. Another way to treat is to have a healthy diet that is high in iron. Remember, we have our meats, which will be our heme iron. And we also have our green leafy veggies. And also don't forget with the meats, they like to ask sometimes about egg yolks specifically. So that's important to know. Another thing they say is the patient's going to come to you and they're going to say, oh, I'm taking my supplement, but I have some sort of condition. What's the condition? Is that their stool is dark, not light, but dark green or black sometimes tarry as well too lastly if they're going to take this as an injection it's given using the z-track method which gives it deep because the iron irritates the skin on the surface so you have to use a z-track technique which is given deep into the gluteus medius. And that's it for treatment.